Yo, yo, it's Hootie Who. Today, we've got a quick beginner's guide. Rocket League just went free to play, so if you're picking up the game for the first time, here are some things you need to know. If this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and it helps me out a ton. First, you will want to alter your button layout. There are plenty of ways to do this and everyone is going to prefer different setups, but here is what you need to know. You will want to set up your layout in a way that will allow you to comfortably press boost, jump, air roll, and power slide buttons simultaneously. Something that many players do is bind free air roll and power slide to the same button since you cannot air roll on the ground nor power slide in the air. The last thing I want to mention is that there is a difference between free air roll, which you direct with your joystick, and the directional air rolls right and left. I have a video that explains the difference between the two that you can check out right here. I personally would recommend trying to find a setup that allows you to bind all three of the air rolls. Here's what my setup looks like. Number two is camera settings. With the introduction of Free to Play, Rocket League has updated the default camera settings which is a massive improvement over the previous default settings. With that being said, I would highly recommend that you play around with some different settings and see what you like as this is mostly preference. The setting that seems to vary the most among players is stiffness. Simply put, this is how much your camera flexes away from the car as you increase in speed. Try out some different settings and see what you like. Third, complete the tutorials. I know it's boring and no one wants to do tutorials when you first start a game, but this will give you a good idea of what skills you can expect to be necessary in typical gameplay. It will not take long and it will certainly be helpful. Number four is a big one and probably the most helpful. There is an absolutely ridiculous amount of information out there about how to improve. My channel has some guides and tutorials for the game and there are plenty of other people that create helpful or educational Rocket League content on YouTube. I will compile a list of channels that should be a great starting point. Another way to improve is watch some players that are better than you at the game. This can inspire you to improve by seeing what is actually possible as well as introduce some higher level strategies and tactics. Twitch and YouTube are the main places to catch Rocket League gameplay. Lastly, you can even meet with Rocket League coaches. You can go the free route or even find paid coaching services. Again, I will compile a list of resources here for you. Number five is a tough one and we are all guilty of it, but I have to say it. Do not get caught up blaming your teammates especially when you are new to the game because they likely are too and even if they are not they are still your rank and they earned that rank just like you did becoming frustrated in your teammates is just wasted energy if you find yourself getting frustrated you can turn on quick chat only or even turn chat off altogether because this is one surefire way to sap the fun out of the game so do your best to not let it happen six is mechanics Seeing these players that have thousands of hours do insane ceiling shots, air dribbles, or flip resets will leave you in awe. I promise we all remember watching top level players as newbies thinking, holy cow, I wish I could do that. And I'm here to tell you that you can. It just takes a lot of time and practice. Don't be afraid of practicing new mechanics and trying new things. It's part of the joy in Rocket League. Number seven, Rocket League is a pretty simple game but the community is hardcore. There are trading communities, diehard esports communities, Rumble, Snow Day, Hoops, Drop Shot communities. We have leagues to participate in, big Discord groups to find teammates. I will throw together a list of where you can get involved in these different types of communities and hopefully you can find your Rocket League home. Eight, free play is your friend. That's it, that's the tip. Get in there and smack that ball around. 9 is for PC players only. Sorry to the console homies. If you are a PC player, you absolutely have to check out these awesome tools that can improve your gaming experience and help you become a better player. Two websites that give you an insane amount of info and detail about your game are calculated.gg and ballchasing.com. I'm keeping this video short, so I'm not going to go into what all these sites provide, but please go explore them. They are absolutely incredible. GIF Your Game is a program for clipping the amazing things that you do in-game. One of the most convenient ways to get clips to share with your crew to show off those fancy shots and saves. 
The last tool is something called Bacchus Mod. As of right now, I'm not sure if it will make its way over to the Epic Games version of Rocket League, so you may not be able to use it, but if it does become compatible, you must check it out. And number 10, the most important tip of all, relax and have fun. Understand that previous skills from other games do not translate into Rocket League skills. The clips that you see on Twitter or Reddit from pros and other top level players are after those players have invested thousands of hours into the game. And you can accomplish those same things, but it takes time. Be patient and enjoy the process. Alright, that's it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos. As always, good luck, have fun, and thank you for watching.